Chapter House proudly presents Every Life Has a Story to Tell. Yeah, I was born in Ararat um, into a sporting family. Uh, Mum played you know, all ball sports, tennis, basketball, netball. Um, Dad cycling and th three older brothers, so yeah, I was yeah just surrounded by sport, which is fantastic. Um, taught me a lot of values in life and um, first race at the age of five uh, around the old uh, granite sand track, which was a tough gig, but uh, chasing my brothers just um, made it so much easier and um, you know competitive. I always wanted to go as fast as them and be as good as them, um, and yeah, that, that's pretty well what we did. We just raced and uh, a very competitive family. School as a young fella was yeah, something I enjoyed, but um, to be honest, I, I found myself staring out the window and um, yeah, I was wanting to be outside playing sport or, or riding my bike, so I wouldn't say I was an academic. Um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to ride my bike and, uh, and, and just that freedom outside. So, um, finished year 11 and uh, thought that's it, it's time to uh, get serious on the bike and uh, that's what I did. I uh, found out what training was about and um, that led me on to uh, you know, my, my career. Great, great moment, you know, you travel down every year and the white and uh, red bus would turn up, but like my dad's van, and you could almost see people going, oh no, not the, not the Kelly boys again. Because, you yeah, know, not, not pumping my tyres up, but that's, yeah, that's, that's how it was. You know, we, we were a pretty, uh, pretty competitive bunch and loved to win, and, and uh, that's what we did. My uh, Olympic dream began when I was eight, actually just after I'd, I'd won the, uh, my first bike, so um, that was when my Olympic uh, dream began. Um, and every Olympic cycle I'd sort of work out how old I was going to be. And I worked out 16, I was going to be too young, that was Seoul. Uh, 20, I, I think that's possible, which was Barcelona. So I worked very hard at it and um, sure enough, my dream came true, I was there. And, um, I was an unknown boy from the bush. Um, they had a dream and, and you know, I found myself on the biggest sporting stage in the world and um, I posted a time, I, I went fastest. The way the, the race works, individually you, you race. Uh, slower seeds are first and then one by one you, know, you get to the fastest seeds being the last. Um, I had the quickest time, all my heroes uh, didn't better my time and um, it took, you know, the world champ no, current Olympic champ, no. So I found myself, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in the gold medal position. And it was the last competitor, the Spanish champion. He, uh, he bettered my time and yeah. So I was so close, but yes, just not quite achieving that, that, uh, that big one I set out to when I was eight years old. But that, for me, that was a, 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 the start of my career and the start of you know, bigger things to come. And, um, yeah, just a, an amazing part of my, my life and something that certainly yeah, inspired me and pushed me on to greater things. My father was a significant part of my career and um, also as a, a role model um, for me as, as a you know, strong, strong man he was. Um, taught me how to win, taught me how to lose and I think that for me was a big part of my career. You know, dealing with disappointment, it doesn't always go you know, the way you, you'd like it. Um, and it's about moving on. So I think that's, as a role model, that's something you know I, I, I got a lot from. Um, later in life, you know, Dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's, and that was a, a tough thing to, to see to slowly decline. You know, over years, you know, he, he, he travelled all world world champs, Olympics, Commonwealth Games, and, and watched um, watched me when he could. But come a point where he was unable unable to do that. So that was uh, that was sad, you know. A guy that had been such a big part of my life, and um, just slowly, you know, a, a guy, in a frustrated guy, in a in a body that he couldn't control, it just got to that point where um, couldn't it couldn't function anymore. So it was almost a relief, you know, when Dad did pass, that he was, um, I suppose, able to rest in, you know, rest in peace and be at ease, you know, with what he'd done and what he'd achieved and. Uh, the, the man he, he made me into. So I think I, I feel pretty good about that. That you know he um, he was a big part of that. So it's 
yeah, a, a tough part of life, but I think, you know, looking forward, um, you know, I've got some great values that I can pass on to my, my kids, um, and, and who knows, you know, I hope they aren't in the same position down the, the track, but, you know, hopefully uh, they've got those values that, that, that I was instilled with and they can, um, they can share them in their journey. One of my biggest disappointments was 1996 Olympics. I was the uh, world champion, world record holder, uh, sure favourite, and um, I had a, a false start. It was one of those things. My foot pulled from the pedal as I started, and um, I, yeah, one chance, one chance to nail it in that minute to uh, to get it right, and I didn't get a restart. Um, so yeah, it was all over. My my dream was shattered, you know, it was one of those things I'd, I'd worked so hard at the previous four years, the four years before that, um, was all over. So I had the chance I could have, um, I could have hidden, I could have crawled under a rock, I could have you know, smashed anything in, in, in front of me, but um, I chose to, to, to face the media and to, to deal with it and move on. You know, as I, was, you know, I taught when I was a young fella, dealing with disappointment. Um, I remember that the hardest thing for me was not talking to the media and you know, the world was you know, chatting to my dad in the stand. Um, he was very emotional and well, actually my mum was, was there as well but I remember chatting to my dad because he, he was pretty teary and emotional about it. And I said, Dad, if this is the worst thing that ever happens in my life, I'm not going to have a bad life. I remember that clearly and you know, that, I think that just made me who I am more help. Uh, make who I am today. Post my cycling career I'm now a uh, happily married man and um, have two beautiful daughters, twins, so that's a tough, that was a tough gig. You know, my cycling career was, was tough but um, I will say family life has certainly challenged me. Uh, but it is, it's a new chapter in my life and uh, you know, I'm really enjoying it and um, yeah, just looking forward to the you know, time ahead, can't wait. My name's Shane Kelly and every life has a story to tell.